Hey, today I'm going to do a YouTube video on my son's e-bike. I finally finished the um, battery. Um, as you will notice on the last video I did with the Cybertron controllers, um, the 200A and the um, and the 150A Cybertron controllers, is that um, I had a, a little bit of a, a preview of my son's bike that I was building. And I finally got the battery that I had made up some uh, old laptop computer batteries, 1850, 18650 cells. And I had to sca scavenge some from um, Hall of Freight, um, some batteries from them. And I checked everything, you know, the uh, voltage, the capacitor, and everything. And it seems to work well. The only thing I need to do now is I need to get a 60 amp charge, 60 volt charger because <laughs> I carried, I got carried away and I was trying to make it a 52 volt because I got a 52 volt charger and it's it actually putting out 67 volts and um, so it only charges halfway so when I turn it on it is actually going 50% charge but <clears throat> that's just to show you when he gets on it how much power it has at 50% and um, <clears throat> and how much torque it has what it is so I'm about to show you the um, the bike what I did to it and we're gonna do a little ride and he's gonna get on it and I'll ride it for y'all now listen <clears throat> now my son he's six years old he's on uh, 52 pounds so he's a little bit on the light side but he got a little bit of experience in dirt bikes he was him and his older son was riding uh, motocross um, here in, uh, up there in Bartow. I'm down here in Florida, Central Florida, but we have a motocross track about 25 miles from here. They finally shut down, so they've been, you know, so they've been chilling right now. But anyways, <clears throat> so he has an experience in, in, in dirt bikes. So this is not new to him. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is that this this e bike bill is not a ten for kids that's not experienced in motocross or any type of dirt bike for that matter, you know, because this is a high power e bike. I come to realize that. I thought it was gonna be a little slower, but I guess the power to rate ratio is <clears throat> this thing is incredible. But but for y'all dads that wants to do something like this. And they want y'all kids to keep up with y'all when y'all got y'all e-bikes out there just, you know, cruising. This might be the one for y'all, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so without no more interruptions, I'm fixing to show y'all this bike right here. And, and y'all can tell me what y'all think about it. All right? So let's get to it. <clears throat> so there it is. I got, uh, I think the sun's in the way, so let me come around this way. So... This is it. This is a 20 inch, you know, bike that I brought from Walmart. It is a, I think it's a Cobra, a K, uh, DCA Cobra, something like that. So, <clears throat> got it from Walmart. I had this control laying around, um, wasn't doing nothing with it. And so I used the controller. Um, this is a thousand watt rear motor. And this is the custom. <clears throat> setup I did with the um, yeah. torque gun. Oh, there he is right there. What's up, son? Okay, hold on. So, and then these Zoom X, um, X-Tech uh, hydraulic brakes, man, they, they are pretty good. They it stops him like no problem. Actually, they'll lock the um, back wheel up if um, if it's squeezed hard enough. Anyways, <clears throat> so this is thousand watt rear hub motor and um got this off ebay and like i said i did the the, the torque on myself i had just uh, welded it up right here painted everything I also made this bracket to um do this uh, caliber in the back and well when i first put it on the this this is a 160 rotor um yeah 160 millimeter rotor it wouldn't fit when I put it on so I had to modify this here frame to bring it out just a little bit in order and then weld this in place and it just barely I mean it got clearance I think about 
Uh, let's see. Can't really see it, but it's about maybe five millimeters of clearance right there. So that's decent right there. So, <clears throat> in the battery, got right here. So this battery, I made myself. Um, only thing I gotta do to it now, I gotta get a 60, um, I gotta get a BMS for it. So I got that on order. And, um, and I gotta get a 60, 60 volt charger for it. Um, right now it's on 60 volts. And, uh, so I got the, um, brakes up front. And everything. And, uh, so this setup, this controller and this, um, the display right here, all came from nb power um i usually get be in contact with them constantly um out of china and they have a warehouse here in the, in uh, in the u.s i think it's in california and they do really fast shipping and here goes some custom brackets i made to hold this controller in so <clears throat> i have a bracket right here that i um made just bend it a little bit and measured it up also have a bracket right here holding this controller in so this ain't going nowhere also the battery is sturdy ain't going nowhere either so this little makeshift battery i mean it's a little bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing building these um battery packs because you know i got shocked a couple times didn't realize you know when i was soldering it because i don't have a fancy spot with her to, to make this battery pack so i gotta um just solder and everything and sometimes my arm would will rest on the battery and it, it feels like a needle's poking your arm or something like oh jesus so anyways um the shocks on this thing are trash they don't work they don't work at all i mean but i guess it doesn't really matter to him because he's light enough that it won't even even wiggle if they if they did work decent but this is what you get you know this bike this whole bike was nothing but 98 dollars at walmart and it's perfect for him. So anyways, then I got the safety switches on because you know, it's my kid and everything. And um, y'all don't want nothing to go wrong with it, you know, so I got those installed. Also, since he's in motorbike, now this is the back brake. And over here's the front brake. Since, you know, typical bosses have the front brake over there and the, and the um, I mean the front brake right here and the back brakes over there. So he's used to, to riding the dirt bike, so. It's how to do it for him. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get him out here, and um, he's gonna show you what it's like. All right, here he is. This is my boy Jacoy, and that's his um, e-bike right here. So, Jacoy, tell me what you think about this uh, e-bike right here. Pops Willie's too, don't it? It pops Willie's. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, let's go ahead and um do some runs, the part two runs. And um so you show them, show the people that uh your e-bike. So they might want to build something similar like this for their kid, you know? Yeah, but you have to start off level one first. Yeah. If you're not, if you're not, you know experience yeah. <laughs> so let's plug her up right quick okay plug her on in right quick all right now turn her on all right there she is all right so it's only 44 percent that um so that's about 58 volts i guess that's in there so um so that's the the uh trip or miles i think but you got your miles per hour your power watts and you got your clock right here that needs to be uh set right <laughs> this thing hasn't been raining in a while so so yeah <clears throat> all right so what power are you gonna put it on all right you see it max power all right are you gonna put the case stand up for you? You got it? I got it. Uh, first I have to do this. Okay. Alright. Yes, he got flip flops on y'all, but this is a demonstration.
<laughs> and they're coming back. He's gonna do it. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, hit it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, front brakes are very, very noisy. That's Jesus. I gotta figure out how to put some disc brakes on the front. I'll be doing some research on that very, very soon. And there he comes. Like I say, that's at 50, not even 50%. <laughs> All right. It's fast, huh? Yes. All right. <laughs> like I say, if you, uh, anybody want to uh, know where, that, where I got this stuff from, like I, you know Sam said already, but just let me know what y'all think, and and I'll be happy to write back always. And all right. Go ahead on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice so there you have it y'all that's my e-bike build right there and uh he's liking it real good he's on his way back and um uh, yeah y'all y'all let me know what y'all think man um like i say i'm gonna do another one for my oldest son and get his bike running good and we're gonna do some riding videos all of us together just hitting the trails Going down some bike paths and everything. Then for me by myself, I do some top speed runs. And uh yeah, show how fast that bad boy is, because it is it is ridiculous fast. But I made something for my son to keep up with me, and he's loving it. I mean, and I think that's what all that matters. You know, as long as your kid's happy, it makes me happy. For all the dads, man, that's out there want to do something like this and want to make your kid happy, that's the way to go right here. Cause you ain't got to worry about the noise from the dirt bikes. You know, you can go anywhere with the bike right here. And with that type of setup right there, the power, you can set the power levels to parallel system number one to five. The more experience they get, the faster they can go. So, yeah. All right, but I'm going to leave this right here. And until next time, I'll make um, some videos on my other bikes right quick. I'm going to make videos on all three of my bikes. Uh, my bike and my two sons. Peace.